Oh, we were both wrong. Here are some double pulleys with progress capture that we are going to explore in today's episode. Also known as a set of fours. You all know Tom Penley here from Desert Rescue Research where we've done videos together testing rescue equipment. And we're going to test these today. Where yeah. do you use these? This compact set of fours made by Rock Exotica, de developed and designed by Reed Thorne, has been around for at least 15 years and they're everywhere. All aspects of rescue, every truck, every rescue team has several to a dozen of them. And they have swivels on both ends. This is an eight millimeter rope? Nine. This nine. is nine. That's, That's nine. eight. This is eight. That's nine. And you have prussics on both sides. It allows us to pin the prussic to this pulley or this pulley depending on what we're going to be able to reach as uh, the pulley system expands. Do you think it'll break or do you think it'll slip in the prussics? I think the, the prussics will slip and probably burn through. But this device, this is a little bit different. This is next generation of set of fours. It doesn't have prussics. It's got a really fancy cam mechanism uh, with a... It's a clutch inside of it. Sort of basically a small compact clutch. Um, and it's designed to slip, they say, at... Uh, four kilonewtons and 900 pounds. It should slip and should not reach any kind of destructive tension where something bad is going to happen. Load limiting devices seem to be the theme in rescue. Yeah. Let me show you how this one works because it's quite interesting. I had to play with it for a half hour just to figure it out. So I can tension it and you can hear the clicking and this wheel is the brake, but it doesn't have teeth. You can see that it has some dimples in there, but when I tension it, it clicks and this moves the wheel. It doesn't take the brake, but you can see that it's pinching right here against this plate. This wheel gets pulled against that back area. And so by doing this, it levers the wheel away, kind of like a Grigri wheel, and you can open it. And it's no longer pinching. So it's the pinching action that does it. But it's also very smooth, very much like a clutch. It's so much like a clutch, it's funny. And if you want to open it, it's that simple. It's pretty clever. Why do you have yellow on here? That's my marking system so somebody doesn't accidentally think it's theirs. We're gonna tension it up like that and see if it slips from the cam. Slip, 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 slip. Nice. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. At what force? Uh, a lot. Oh, that's not four. Why? What? How old is this one? Maybe two years. So if it's under load, which it is right now, I can, oh, that is actually really nice. It's still functional. That was, I don't feel like that compromised anything in here other than just wearing the rope out. I think something bad is gonna happen to this Well, today. you brought it into the how not to lab. I think it's gonna break, yeah. yeah. But the question is, where does it break? Fun fact about pulleys, I've used a lot in slack lining. If your feet are planted and you're about my size, wait, and stoke, you're gonna get about 100 pounds of oomph. And you're not gonna get a perfect 100% efficiency out of any pulley, no matter what kind you have. And so this is gonna give you, if you use it a certain way, a five to one. You're not quite gonna get 500 pounds with this solo. If you had two people pulling on this, you could get to four. And it's supposed to slip at four. If you put four people on this, it still might not slip. <laughs> I think it's gonna break at 45 kilonewtons. Where is it gonna break? Where is it gonna break? Swivels are two part bolt together. They might pop one of these screws and come off the posts that it's on. This uh... My gamble is right there. <laughs> it's too strong. So it, it only goes up to 40 kilonewtons unless we do a two to one. And it still works. Is it a T formation? Oh yeah, right here. I can see some yeah. right here. Still got the clicks and, and it still opens. So I have this whoopee sling here that goes all the way to this pulley for a two to one. We're gonna pull that, which goes to these big fat soft shackles, which goes to our redirect so I can have my hydraulic pull the other way so I could have this test bed fit in this room. And so now we have bigger shackles anticipating this to break higher than even steel carabiners will break. And so with this tied off, let's see how strong it is. Wow, you 
called it. Oh, we were both wrong. Okay, you were spot on. And we were both wrong with where it was gonna break. What happened here? Those don't look like they're gonna turn quite as good as they used to. Now you know it's a ball bearing pulley though. Yeah, sure. yeah, you know, there's the balls. Is this a retainer pin or That's a washer? Seal. So it's a sealed ball uh, bearing. Pulley. Sealed ball bearing, not sealed anymore. What happened there? Uh, when that came off, it slipped up here. It's the the loop came up, and that's this loop was around those pulley wheels. Oh yeah, yeah, that eight. I'm doing a video right now about figure eights and how hard that is to untie. Yeah, it does still click. Forty six k n. Yeah. The wheel is not the weak point. I would like to brag about these shackles. They're cheap and they work. They work when we're done breaking stuff. They, we thought this would come off the pin. They still swivel. This is a really nice design, the way it goes around, because that's a solid aluminum body is mm -hmm. what this is. MBS, 45 kilonewtons. How'd they know? That's crazy. Is this the first time they actually rated it for what it's braked at? Well, it broke above. Well, barely. Uh, yeah. Usually it breaks double as strong. <laughs> it slips higher than they said, but it breaks at what they said. So, and it works really well. I think working really well is the takeaway. Let's go see how uh, the Rock Exotica one performs. We'll destroy this one in a minute. That was an expensive test. Yes. Brought to you by Tom. And Tom is here because he came across the water to pick up five, how many books? 5,000. 5,000 5, books of his technical rescue field operation guide. You have the wingman on a litter. One of the primary places is for the rescuer's primary attachment point as a litter attendant because it gives you so much versatility to change your position easily. Mm -hmm. And there's also a set of fours that connects to the foot of the litter, which allows us to take the litter from a horizontal configuration into a vertical configuration. So Super you can easy. drop the legs. Yeah. We can just and then pick the legs back yeah. up into horizontal. So set of fours have been a, a more and more a, a really useful tool in all aspects of rescue. We use it for pickoffs. We use it for not passing. We use it a lot. <laughs> it's, it's really strong because even though it's a nine millimeter rope or eight millimeter rope, you have four strands of it supporting the load, and so yeah. that's where you get that forty five. 46 kilonewton brake strength. So it's one, two, three, four. That's why they call it a set of fours. There's four blocks or four sheaves to, uh, or four pulleys in this set right here and gives us a mechanical advantage. In this case, four to one with a change of direction, flip it over, it's a five to one. That's something that messes with your head. One of the things that's kind of cool about this, there's these little six millimeter sewn prosthex slings on here. And I want to point out that these nowadays are sewn loops that have a product label on them that shows data manufacturer or lot number that's really what we want to be using on all of our software we we like labels because if nothing else it lets us go huh wow one of the reasons why i'm breaking this today all this cordage is more than 10 years old this i think it's you know like 11 years old and it's like hey you know what it's time to either break it how not to or <laughs> yeah. I gotta buy a bunch of new rope, and I have a bunch of these, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what sacrifice it to <laughs> see how it how it works after ten years old. I can pull this pin, this little this little push pin right here, and I can pin the blue prusik, or I can come over here, pin orange, and um, so why would we pin one over the other? If I was going to have uh, blue at the foot of the litter, I would pin orange. Um, and that way I can mine the orange prussic and the, the, the foot of the litter can go, this blue prussic could go out of my reach. Do you know what this slips at in this um, box system? Uh, I, well, we're going to find out. Let's go pull on it. So we have pinned orange and we are going to find out when this setup slips. Five, seven, eight, ten. Yeah. Eight, Ah! Oh my God. Ow! I wouldn't have stood next to it if I thought that was gonna happen. Did you get hit? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, I hit my hand. <laughs> I used my hand to block my face though, luckily. What? The pin pro. No. 36. Well, these pulleys are rated to 36. Whew. Almost 35. Okay, so it's interesting that the Prusiks eventually bite like they always have in 
the videos we've done, right? Because the nylon kind of melts to itself. This is my oldest one, 10 years old. Still performed That's... really good. As is typical with Prusix, we saw a slip and then a big bump, and then it welded onto the rope and then broke the, hot. broke the pin. Oh, it sheared it. it whoa, holy broke cow. Broke the Beckett. It broke that off. Wait a minute. This broke. The eye connection yeah. that went on there. Yeah. And then there's another piece of metal missing somewhere. Is that what hit me? You should have plexiglass. So what, do you get those in the comments? Yeah, I can't film as good if I got plexiglass. This is safe compared to what I do on the weekends. Oh, I oh, found it. That is interesting. Where's the, is this on the so other the side? The pin that went there. And so mm. it was pulling on that. And probably what happened is the sewn eye from the main line, broke the bucket off, and then that pulled the pin. Check this out. This swivel doesn't swivel anymore. That bolt right there, I think, got bent, and so this swivel doesn't move anymore. I wonder if it's worth trying to pull this again. Let's break this bad boy. Terminated eye right here, and this side terminated right here. And these guys are just in the middle, chilling. actually really strong it smells strong oh that was that's real strong that looks really familiar reminds me of this when i broke the enforcer oh bobby you were so close yeah he guessed 50. it definitely doesn't spin anymore these didn't blow out though these devices are never gonna get this no. Kind of force this okay. is for entertainment. These pulleys though, that that housing did really well. This slow mo is crazy. This this thing went flying. That thing went flying across the room. It split my foam in half. I think the slow mo is almost as much fun as breaking expensive toys. But they were your expensive toys. That's probably why. They were mine. <laughs> yeah. I just broke a thousand dollars worth of pulley systems he here. Did. Today. We're gonna but. carry the wingmen at hownotto.com. The most practical thing I think that we tested is where it slipped. Yeah. Because that's legitimate on what could happen in the field. And we're using these devices to carry live loads and they were great for that. Both of them are great devices. And more strong than you need them to be. Way more. If you guys like watching this kind of content, please let us know in the comments below. So we know to keep doing this. Cheers.